Assalamu alaikum brothers and sisters um, My name is Mustafa Ahmed So I'm bringing you back to another topic today Inshallah discussing um, Muhammad Qasim His dreams and the reality of it So today I was watching a video by uh, another scholar um, Who's saying, saying that Muhammad Qasim is not really being truthful It's not, um, you know, making lies and it's, There's a lot of people who are making lies about Islam um, I don't think he's being very deceitful um, for a couple of reasons so the first one um, his message is again just spread my dream um, it's talking about shirk and how to abolish shirk he's always talking about how to follow the religion how to do good stuff right read the Quran read all the stuff so that's not somebody who's been telling a lie but that's easy the second one I think um, he's 40 years old so if he would if somebody would be telling a lie he would have started much earlier than him being above 40 now, you know. Well, he doesn't really have much to gain in his elder years, right? Number two, uh, he's not really eloquent and very, like, um, prominent when he speaks, right? So you would think about, like, a, like a Dajjal or something. It would be very, like, has amazing words, very, like, passionate, almost easy to follow right like we have a lot of scholars who we love to listen to and they're very when they speak they speak amazingly you know so it's not something like that and i think the biggest point i would want to say would be he is he's been expressing his dreams like according to him since 2014 when the prophet and allah told him to like hey share your dreams so it's 2022 20, now and he hasn't really got any traction until almost like I would say 2018, 2019. So you're talking about eight plus years of nobody following, nobody listening, nobody paying attention to you, right? So if somebody was doing this for fame, they would have quit a long time ago because it's not you're not getting famous by doing it, right? So not until recently, after eight plus years of actually constantly practicing and trying, that people are starting to hear and and and, and listen. And even then, it's still a small amount of people. It's not like a big majority of people that you would say. So this is like a big, big reason, you know. I would go back to the point where Heraclius asked uh, Abu Sufyan about Muhammad al-Islam's message, our prophet. And he said a couple things. He said, who follows him? Is it the strong or the powerful? And he said, no, it's actually the weak, right? He said, is anybody... When he comes into this religion, does he get away from it, right? Um, and in, react, in reality, he's like, no. But Shafian said, no. Only what's it called, whoever comes into the fold of Islam stays there, right? And the last one was, he said, what's it called? Um, now, what's, what's his message? What is he preaching, right? And he said he's only preaching, you know, to keep good ties, you know, stay away from a shirk, stay away from idolatry, stay away from all these bad deeds, right? And even Heraclius, who did not accept Islam, said this is the sign of a true message, right? When his his followers are the, the, the weak and the meek, and whoever comes into his, his message stays there. And the last one would be that he's, he's spreading a message of Tawheed, right? A message of the oneness of Allah. So I think these are some factors to consider. Again, we always say Allahu Alam. You know, we're not claiming 100% of anything. There's really uncertainty of everything. But from the facts that we see, you know, not a lot of people are following it. And usually it's the the, the, the meek, the the people who are struggling, the people who are, are not the, of the elites who follow the message, right? So I wouldn't um, just cut off the message completely just because it it doesn't sound and I keep in mind the 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 main thing I want to say is that he never claims to be the Mahdi. You know, this is only things that other people, all of his people, listen to his dreams, saying this has to be it. So and we always say Allah Alam, and inshallah, you know, we will keep keep an eye on out. You know, try to learn as much as we can and see what happens and as stuff unfolds quickly. Make sure that we are on the right side of history because the train's running really fast now. Wa alaikum salam wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.